serenity. We're in San Diego, you're homeless, you're 20 years old, you're pregnant, you're out here, and the reason they can't put you in a shelter is it's there's no bunk. It's because I'm pregnant. It's because I'm pregnant and there's no bottom bunks. Yeah, tell me um, about it. I'm a liability to them. They think that, um, most people, they never have said it, any programs, but a lot of people notice it, which they catch on, you know, we always catch on. We're not dumb, we're homeless, but we're not stupid, we're not uneducated, you know? Like, some of these people out here have degrees, you know, and, it's just crazy how intelligent and like how hardworking some of these people truly are. Um, but we catch on, you know, and, and they like we see they don't want to take me because I'm pregnant because I'm a liability. And if anything were to happen to me, like that's on them. And then because I'm pregnant, it's more money off out of their pockets, you know. But what's going to happen to you out here? I mean, you told us that Who knows? you went up to the police and asked for help. And they still didn't do, weren't able to help me at all whatsoever. And it's been maybe about five four to five weeks maybe six now i don't really count anymore because it's just like it just it just frustrates me more if i think about it and you can't you're saying you're having trouble getting to doctor's appointments yeah i have not had an ultrasound since i was about six weeks and the only reason i did have an ultrasound was because i was having pain in my stomach and i went to the emergency room um i know i could probably try a lot harder to to get that but at the same time like i have to make sure you gotta throughout survive. the day throughout the day that nobody's stealing my stuff like for example i just came back from tijuana um to visit i visited my sister um my little sister and my stepmom and i was gone for maybe about four or five days um and my my neighbor mom rachel who's two tents down um she wasn't here either to be able to watch my stuff which if she's if i'm not here she usually does for me yeah. and vice versa she wasn't here and I came back and all of my stuff was tossed up. My whole tent is messed up. It's ripped literally from the zipper. I can't even close it. There's holes in the floor. Um, all my blankets are dirty. All my clothes were thrown everywhere and like some of my stuff is missing. And my other neighbor on the other side of me tried to blame the police on it. And, and it's I know it's not the police. The police are not gonna come inside my tent like that. I mean, as, as much as they do mess with us a lot and they really have some type of animosity towards us, they're not just gonna do it for no reason because they know how much trouble they can get in with everything going on right now. But that's that's why I, I can't do certain things because I'm, I wanna make sure my stuff is okay or I wanna make sure that yeah. nobody goes in my stuff and takes my personal belongings that I do have left, you know? And yeah. so like, there's just little things like that that people think that we can just drop everything that we're doing to go and do something else and it's like it's not that we don't want to it's just like we can't we yeah. can't we can't and that's what prevents a lot of homeless reality. people from going to the doctor it's and getting reality. medical help. they don't have people they trust yeah. to watch their stuff or they, they that's all they have left i mean the, this is literally mostly everything that you see out here with these people is all that they have to their yeah. name and you are clean and sober mm -hmm. how does a 21 or 20 year old pregnant woman sober survive out here it's it's hard it is um thankfully my 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 baby's father he he's a big support to me um even before i got pregnant like our relationship is very very it's it's the first healthy relationship i've ever been in and um he's trying his best right now to save up to like get us which we're trying we're trying it's, it's just really hard for me to like leave san diego but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do for right now, just until we can save up more money because it's really expensive out here to live. Um, but we have, um, once there's, the there's construction's no done out in TJ and the house that we're going to, our apartment, we're gonna go out there, but that's why we've been back and forth. And so, um, but he he supports me mostly. I mean, he's, it's hard for him to save out here because it's so expensive and I eat a lot. <laughs> I eat a lot, I do, I eat a lot. That's all I do, 95% of the day but I'm you're eating. you're pregnant. Yeah. So, and you're basically a teenager still yeah so i'm still growing i mean like and i'm still growing you know yeah, but yeah. um that's one thing i know for sure is like i don't go hungry out here and that's and even if he wasn't supporting me and we weren't working together to like make sure that we have food all the time there's there is resources that's one thing that one thing that people can actually take advantage of is showers and um and food clothing it's and eh, you know i mean but it's no housing hard. No housing. no housing though yeah it's, it's and crazy for you how no works. shelter because no, you're pregnant and no shelter and that means no housing but there's plenty me. of food yeah and I mean, there's showers mm -hmm. so yeah showers um, but i mean the, what the would restroom you restroom even the restroom even is like in a, for example it's i just went and and they if have you, the, if you don't have if you don't have um the, yeah no you go ahead I don't think you have to go, go ahead if the back gates are locked um 
right here where the restrooms are at. Um, yeah. But they used to be unlocked 24-7, the back gates. Well, they have the top of the doors cut off in the bathroom stall. It's, yeah, and they're so not there's locked. No privacy. You have no privacy. People walk by and like, oh, like if you don't leave something, even sometimes you can leave something on the stall door while you're in there, yeah. like a sweater or something, so people know. They still walk by and like, well, oh, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. you see a jacket here. Why are you going to come up to my... So it's like being in jail. Today was a homeless sleep. Yeah. And you had to move all your stuff. Yeah. And you're pregnant. From one side of the street to the other side of the street. Yeah, thankfully the sun waited to come out to after, but yeah. so let's that's wait to this thing. train. And the cops know you're pregnant. You've they asked for care. help. They don't care. They don't care at all. So. That's just one thing for them to talk more shit about. Excuse my language, but why are you out here on the streets if you're pregnant? Da -da -da -da. Well, why don't you guys help me get off the streets if I'm pregnant? Like, why don't you guys do something more to help? women like me i'm 20 i'm 20 years i'm not even 21 yet i'm 20 years old i don't turn 21 until september yeah. i'm technically still a baby you know i'm still trying to learn how to yeah like, you shouldn't be do out things here. you know like this is this is not like i said it's not an ideal it's not yeah. an ideal life for a 20 20 year old to live you know it's what not, would you want people to know about homelessness that they don't these people walking by or driving and then riding we're not we're not bad people we're not yeah. we're human we're human too and we we deserve the same amount of of respect and the same amount of love and, and opportunities that somebody who isn't in the streets yeah. does does have you know what i mean we we're, we're human that's the number one thing I, I want people to know is that we're human too we're not just objects or or, or creatures like like i know it can be scary to see some sometimes like under the bridge you know for example where we were all really located before now when somebody walks under there and I ask somebody who's not homeless, um, would, does it look scarier walking under there at three in the morning when there's literally nobody, nothing around, it's completely dark, it's super, like the, the freeway, so, so cars are driving by, you can't hear anything. If you were to scream, nobody would hear you. Does it seem scarier walking through the bridge or underneath the bridge now that there's nobody there or when there was people there with their canopies and their lights? And the lady said, you know what, it, it is more scary now. And, and it's true, you know, we're, but we're human. We're human and we, we all have, have things we go through too. And just because we're out here doesn't make us less of a person. So I just, I hope people realize that. Like, If when, you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, well, the first would be to be off the streets for sure. Um, the second would be to... I want to like help people. I, that's what I want to do. I want to go into like 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 counseling or like um, to help people, girls my like girls my age, like through like sharing my testimony with them, you know, because I've been through a lot and I don't. I love helping people and I don't. I mean, I don't mean it like to get paid or anything. I want to do it yeah, because that's just something help I want to do. Yeah. Like, I was homeless 28 years ago. Wow. So you'll find your path. Yeah. God will always lead me. That's another thing. My relationship with God is one thing that keeps me yeah. going every day. Yeah. If it wasn't for Him, I wouldn't. I would have probably lost my mind. Third wish. My third wish would be. I don't know. I maybe just to have like better living situation obviously like to not be on the streets but like even though i am on the streets since that's obviously not going to be an issue, option right now just like it sucks because my tent got ripped up and all that like i don't know just to be more comfortable while i'm out here i guess while i'm pregnant until i figure out what i'm going to do or what's going to happen hopefully people will see this and they'll get you in shelter and hopefully housing hopefully so yeah and i'm, I'm a former foster youth as well too so i qualify yeah. but it's they just yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you so much.